<laughs> All right. So I don't go live very often, so it might be a little awkward for me. I got the chat on the phone here if anybody wants to say anything. So, William, I see you there. Good afternoon, everyone. Just got home from work. All right. Uh, it's a Saturday, so um, yeah, I'm not working except for this. I guess this is work. Uh, you see behind me, I've got some modern B-17 footage just for uh, just for background. <laughs> oh, yeah. So here we are. I've got um, looks like three people on. I don't think I'm going to wait for too many other people because um, this thing has been running uh, as a primer for like 30 minutes just to get people interested or notified. And um, it's one o'clock, and that's when I said I'd start. So. Um, yep, yeah, just, I'll be glancing down at my phone, checking for chats now and then. All right, so likely it's, you're here because uh, you are a uh, contributor to the promotional crowdfunding sale for, uh, for Bomb Run. Bomb Run's a game I've been working on since 2013. Uh, I had the idea, um, just, I don't know how it came to me, but uh, it came to me probably after playing a game of, of Memphis Bell, Queen of the, not Memphis Bell, uh, B-17, Queen of the Skies. Um, and, a, and it's a handheld version. It's basically, uh, I've been telling people it's Queen of the Skies and Target for Today in a travel version. And it's true, look at that. There's no reason you can't bring this along anywhere you go. Uh, and it's all a deck of cards that fits in your hands and you play through it and, uh, and it tells you uh, it tells you the sequence of events in any given scenario. So basically anything that could happen in a, on a B-17 mission can happen in this deck of cards. And I think that is very much true. And um, I came up with the design over like a course of two weeks. And then I put it to paper and cards over, over the course of eight years. So, um, so here we are. Uh, you guys participated in a uh, crowd sale and it went really well. We sold 51 copies. 12 of those were mine. Uh, I get, had a couple people uh, sign on and, uh, and buy two, uh, two copies. So all in all, um, there were, uh, not counting myself, there were, geez, don't make me do math. <laughs> uh, so 12 minus 51 is, uh, what? 39 is that is that right 39 39 copies um, and two of those were double customers so there's 37 customers correct me if I'm wrong I don't know 37 customers but we have uh, 20 entries in in the drawing for a number of these different titles five of them to be uh, exact don't break it uh, and then I've got the 3d printed box insert uh, which will go as a separate drawing. So 20 entries, one of those is a double customer. So somebody is in here twice. That means only 19 people of the, what did I just say, 37 other customers uh, signed on to do this. So you have a really good chance of winning one, you have one in six, uh, there's six, six prizes. So uh, 19, 20 different uh, uh, opportunities to win. And uh, I'm going to be drawing this out of my own service cap, which I'm retired now, so I don't need it. So I'll, I'll put it to use. Why not? Um, kind of wish I had the bomber crush hat that they're using now, uh, the, the, the army crushed hat. That uh, it's called a crushed hat because they put their headphones on over it and it crushed down the the wings like this uh, from the headphones, and it and it automatic or it. Uh, naturally develop that crush and they're using it now in the modern uniform. So I'm going to actually go through these name by name just to uh, uh, say that I'm not, say that I'm not leaving anybody out. So first off, we've got uh, Bruno uh, from Miami. All right. If anybody has any commentary, go ahead and put it in the chat and I'll try to answer it. Uh, Fred Perry from Worcester, U UK. All right. So this is it's actually gone went out to a couple different uh, couple different uh, overseas customers. So that's really cool. Um, nobody, nobody. I don't know what your name is, but uh, uh, your location is simply marked as international. So if you're a winner 
uh, I will be reaching out. If anybody here is a winner, I'll be reaching out to you uh, through the Board Game Geek mail system. Um, and then uh, I'm going to give you like a week to respond. And then we'll also be drawing backup names after all the drawings are done, just in case somebody does not respond. Um, I hate for that to happen, but um, it happens. So Steve Boone in Harrison, Tennessee. Uh, Suzanne Hawes from Moosup, Connecticut. Okay, there's only there's only 20 of these. All right, and uh, New Mom, spelled N-E-U-M-O-M, -E from Austin. And Christy Olson from Broadus, Montana. That's my cousin. Um, Istvan Dani from Budapest. Budapest is my probably my most favorite city I've ever been to. I've been there many times when I was stationed in Germany. Uh, Andrew Prosser from Kitchener, Ontario. All right. So, and then we got uh, Brant McClure from Pagosa Springs, Colorado. And then Frank Wilson from San Antonio. That would be Texas. That's a blank. Okay. Uh, Vic Albright from Midland, Michigan. Michigan, right? Yeah. Uh, Johnny P. from California. And Peter D. from New York. And we got Kirk Gardner from Reno, Nevada. And again, Christy Olson brought us. Thank you, Christy, for buying two copies. My lovely cousin, Joe Cronin from Canton, Ohio. Another blank. Okay, three more. Staff Sergeant Ramy, uh, SSG Ramy. I, I know that's out, Staff Sergeant, but uh, thanks for your service. Anyway, uh, Lawrence Dune, uh, location not listed. I suspect he's from Germany. And finally, we got uh, <laughs> William from Kingsland, Georgia. So let me mix these up real good. Okay. Got paper spaghetti here. Okay, before we do the drawing, I do want to go over each of these. So first up, we've got Company of Heroes. Yeah, this is this is one I found on the internet. Um, I really liked it. It took me a long time to find even the title of the uh, of the art, um, and then I didn't write down who the author, uh, who the art, who the artist is. But uh, uh, I, I seriously owe owe him that. Uh, recognition sorry um but anyway this is a free giveaway to one lucky winner and then we've got little friends everything else here is going to be art from the cards that i used uh, so this is little friends these are uh, a little squadron of, of p51s or a little flight of p51s there that are flying past a um, uh, formation of bombers that they're escorting little friends and um, we got the FW-190, uh, I call the Butcher Bird. This is one of the most feared, uh, weapons of the arsenal of the Luftwaffe. Luftwaffe. Uh, let's see. Um, so yeah, this is one of the encounters you can face in Bomb Run. Uh, this is one of the best ones that came out. So here I've got two copies of Wingman. Okay, so we'll be giving away two copies of these. Um, at first, I hold on. At first, I, I wasn't. Um, so this is the L bomb group. I'm not sure which bomb group that is, uh, but all of his markings are red. So I made a red and blue version of this, and uh, honestly, I don't like it. So we'll be not giving this one away. Instead, we'll be giving away two of these in blue. Okay, frames. They all get a frame. I've only made one so far, so you're going to have to give me a few days to make frames before I send these out. But uh, they're going to slip. They're going to sit right in here, and I'm going to going to glue them in with some construction adhesive. So they'll all get a frame. This is oak. Uh, they won't necessarily all be oak. I'm using scraps from my scrap bin. So I'll be reusing, repurposing. Uh, wood that would otherwise go to the landfill or the burn pit. 
So I've got, uh, for example, oak, I've got cherry, uh, maybe some walnut, um, ash. I don't know what it's going to be, but uh, it's going to be whatever's available. And uh, I may stain them. It all depends on, on uh, how we're going to look with this. Okay, so one last thing is the box insert. This is 3D printed. Um, and then it's got these little um, card dividers, which you will you will want to have uh, for your cards. And if you don't win this, you can get this uh, same thing for free. You can get the files for free on Thingiverse, and I've got links to that all over the place. Uh, if you have access to a 3D printer or you own a 3D printer, then you can uh, print this out yourself. This takes this takes me about 10 hours on the settings I use, and each of these three um, dividers takes about 30 minutes. No big deal. Set it up when you go to bed, and you'll have it in the morning. Okay, so, and I'll just demonstrate how those fit inside the box. Okay. Set your cards up real nice like this, and here's those dividers back here. All right. So, look. Here's the wingman card right on top. All right. Okay, so uh, William asked, when you first thought of Bomb Run, how many evolutions did it go through before the final product? Uh, so PowerPoint is my friend when it comes to game design. So there was the PowerPoint version. Uh, I actually kept that, but I don't know where it's at. I was actually looking for it the other day. So it's the PowerPoint, PowerPoint version, and, uh, you know, that made sure I got the mechanics right and you know i think i got it pretty pretty dialed in within the first couple of weeks and that's that's what powerpoint was for and then i started using uh, placeholder art you know actual art that i don't have any rights for and i put those together on uh, the game crafter and put those up as playtest versions and i made those like the minimum cost uh, possible had no box it was just a deck of cards and people got to play through those and and give me feedback so that was iteration two and then i made a few adjustments to the cards inside the game crafter and um eventually it came down to this has been on on the back burner it's been a back burner project for for years so i just drilled down and, and got it done and and here's what we have and i've even made one change after final publication so four-ish maybe Okay, so we ready for the drawing? Are we ready? So here is everything. Okay. I want to make sure I get a good. Oops. It's kind of cool behind me, right? Okay, not looking. Yes, it's a little bit hot and sweaty and. And I might be kind of nervous, but that's okay. Okay, um, so first up, uh, so people got to put their preference for what they wanted. So, so whatever, whoever I draw is going to get their first preference, and it, it's listed on this little strip. Sometimes they don't, uh, they didn't put any preference, so we're going to go in this order: first, second, third, fourth, uh, in order I just showed you. So, first drawing, first winner is. Frank Wilson from San Antonio, uh, his first uh, preference is Company of Heroes. So congratulations, Frank Wilson. Uh, you are the winner of Company of Heroes. I'll put this strip up right here. Okay. Next winner is... Okay. Bruno from Miami. Uh, his first preference was Company of Heroes. His second preference was Little Friends. So you get the P-51s. Congratulations, Bruno. Okay. okay. By the way, uh, William Bridge, USMC, has been a has been my, my top supporter of this game and, and he will tell you on
on the board game game for board game geek forums that uh, that it's his favorite game, and you can tell that by by how much he's posting and he's he's writing down the entire narratives for his playthroughs, and and I've joined in on that, and we've basically come up with a novel from from two different perspectives. We're we're, we're telling the same story, we're coordinating, uh, so we are telling the same story from two different perspectives, and. It's really meshing together really nice. So if you're a writer or a creative writer, then pick yourself up a game, uh, uh, a bomb run, and, and participate. Okay, Christy Olson, my cousin, is uh, has no preference. Okay, so she, you know what? I'm going to give uh, one of these Wingman copies to her. Okay, so she's going to win the first copy of Wingman. Okay, congratulations, cousin. All right. And winner number four. Can you see in there? Vic Albright from Midland, Michigan. Uh, your next preference is, is Wingman. Okay. So both Wingman are now spoken for. And we got the fifth tile. William, my friend, you are the winner of, of <laughs> Butcher Bird. Uh, I know you you liked that one. That's your first that's your first preference. Okay, uh, you saw there was no favoritism there. You saw all of them go in, and you saw the uh, random selection. Okay, now, awesome. So I hope everybody's happy with the tiles they're getting. Uh, now we're gonna move on to do the 3D printed box insert. Okay, this was, a lot of people put the box insert as their preference. Uh, I tried to make it clear that we aren't doing preferences for the box insert, that's gonna be a separate drawing, which is happening right now. Um, and some people, two people in fact, opted out of receiving the uh, box insert, so I may draw again. That's just because probably they either already have a 3D printer or they just didn't want it. Okay. And the winner of the box insert is uh, Istvan Danny from Budapest. And uh, congratulations. That's going to Europe. That's amazing. And so happy for everyone. So now we're going to do real quick um, the uh, the backup winners to each of these things. Uh, again, these winners have uh, one week from today uh, to respond to me. I'm going to send you a geek mail from Board Game Geek, and you got one week to respond to me with name and address. Um, and if you don't, we got to go to the runner up. All right. So first runner up um, and then we'll resort to preferences again it would be Brant McClure who has no preference so you get a uh, runner up for uh, Company of Heroes yeah. okay next runner up is Peter D from New York uh, Little Friends is your consolation uh, you are the consolation uh, not consolation you know, <laughs> uh, the backup for little friends. Next one. Kirk Gardner from Reno. Uh, he's interested in the insert only. So I will go ahead and make you the backup for um, Esteban. And... Uh, Nobody, nobody, the probable, probable German, uh, is getting Butcher Bird. No, Wingman. You're getting one of the Wingmans. And two more. Um, Joe Cronin from Canton, Ohio, uh, has no preference after 
company of heroes and little friends who are already taken. So we're going to get a few uh, Butcher Bird as the backup. I already know, you know what, we're not going to do a backup for Butcher Bird because I know William is right here. Um, and Joe Cronin from Canton is getting, potentially getting the other little friend, or wingman, if Vic does not fess up. Okay, that's it. Um, any final comments? I see I've got five viewers here. Um, again, congratulations to everyone who uh, is a winner. I will next focus on getting these little frames made up and patching everything, collecting your shipping information, and sending it off to you within the next week. So, uh, last call for comments. Now, there is a delay between the camera and what I say, so uh, we'll give it five, four, Three. This is this is a kind of a cool background, right? You get to watch the B-17 footage. All right. Again, uh, Bomb Run is available on thegamecrafter.com. Currently, thirty-four ninety-nine uh, plus shipping. I know uh, shipping to Europe is is a pain, but one thing that I can promise you is you will get your value out of this game. It's it's a small game, it's a deck of cards, but you're gonna get your value, I, I promise you that. Um, check out uh, Board Game Geek, the forum on Board Game Geek, and, and look around. Uh, if you wanna buy this game, you can go to thegamecrafter.com. Link is in the description. Uh, it'll take you directly there. And, uh, and with that, thanks, and uh, hope to see you on the forum.